Hey there! In this Counting Apples game, students will touch an alphabet apple, count the apples that appear, use a marker to write how many apples there are, then when they touch on the box, an audio will actually say the number and you can't hear it in the video, and we'll also show it for them. In the beginning sounds game, they touch a bull's eye and then they pick the letter that the picture begins with. If they're correct, the correct image appears. If they're not correct, then an incorrect page will appear. In this add and subtract birdies game, students will touch a number bird, then accidentally write the answer first, but they will touch an egg and drag it into the nest according to the number on the nest. Then they add up those eggs, write the answer, and then touch the bird to check their answer. There's also subtraction problems where they place eggs in the first nest, then they switch them over to the second nest to see how many are still left in the first nest. In the Comparing Cherries game, students practice greater than, less than, and equal to. They will write how many cherries are in one bowl, they'll look at the symbol, and then they'll drag a correct amount of cherries in the first bowl and write how many they put to make the image correct. This color number words game has four different activities. In the first, they just color the different crayons according to the color word. Then in the second game, they count the apples and they click on the correct number word. If they click on the right one, it will dance. If they click on the wrong one, it won't move at all. In the third game, students will read out the color word before using the eraser feature to erase the color word and see if they are correct. In the last game, they will drag the correct amount of apples into the box according to the number word at the top of the box. In this place value cupcakes game, it's actually a freebie and I'll have the link for you down in the info box. In the first activity, students drag the correct amount of ones and tens to create the sum at the top of the page. In another activity, it'll tell them to either count all the ones or count all the tens. In this one, they count the tens, then they use the pen feature to write the correct number, touch the cupcake, and then check their answer. In the last activity, they count how many tens there are, how many ones, they add it together to get the final sum, and then they click on the cupcake to check their answer. This letters game allows students to practice writing letters and words, and there is a picture that accompanies the letter that they're working with. In this Making 10 Space game, students move aliens to symbolize each number, and then they add on to see how many more they need to get to 10. Then they write that number in the blank, touch the spaceship to check their answer. In this Number Order Planets game, students will decide which number comes before, after, or in the middle of a group of numbers. To check, they're going to touch the planet below to see if they're correct. If they're having difficulty, they can touch this link at the bottom and it will give them a hundreds chart to check to see which number comes before or after. In this reading words game, students will touch a number circle. A word will appear, they'll try to sound it out. Once they think they have it, they touch the star and the picture will appear that matches the word. Here's another example. In this rhyming stars game, students will look at the picture and find a star that rhymes with the picture shown. If they're correct, a correct image will appear. If they're incorrect, then an oops page will appear. There's also a word vocabulary page to help with the names of the pictures. This shapes file provides four different games. In the first game, students will place flat shapes into the right tunnel and then solid shapes in the other one. If they're incorrect, it will bounce out. In the next game, students will color this picture according to the shapes. There's a key down at the bottom that they will use to color for example, triangles red, circles are green, and so on. In the next game, students will sort shapes 
for triangle squares and rectangles. So it'll help them with different sizes and angles of these shapes. And I'm not gonna do them all, but then they click on check and they will see whether they're right or wrong. In the last game, students will practice drawing and tracing the shapes and also the shape words. There's big ones and small ones. This will help them with word recognition of the shapes. And then you will click on that second page button and it will go to several different other shapes for them to practice. In the sight word game, I hate it, but in the first activity, I can't show you the audio, but actually when they touch on the star, it will say the word that the star has on it. And then they will also use the marker tool to trace each of the star sight words and then touch the girl and she'll say what the sight word is too. And this game covers 30 sight words. This syllables game provides word vocabulary for students to practice first, and then when they touch a bull's eye, a picture will appear and they will practice or use rhythm sticks or whatever to figure out how many syllables the word has. If they erase the correct number, it will say yes. If they correct the wrong number, it'll say no. In this vowels game, students can practice short vowels. They look at the image and the beginning and ending letters to help them. When they touch the right vowel, it will dance. If they touch the wrong vowel, it's not going to do anything at all. And the last game is on ending sounds. Students touch the bullseye and they pick the letter that is the correct ending sound of the image. If they're correct, it's going to say correct. If they're not correct, it will say oops. This also has a vocabulary page to make sure the students understand what the words are. On the second slide of each smart board game, there is an assessment worksheet that you can download that covers the common core standard in the game and also an ICANN statement. If you're interested in purchasing this pack from my TPT store, just click on show more down below this video and the link is there for you to check it out. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.